Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Boardwalk Resort and I am so excited because we're going to be dining at the newest restaurant in Walt Disney World, the Cake Bake Shop. A lot of people have been talking about it and I'm so excited that the restaurant is open so that I can come out and try some of the food and make a video to share my experiences with you. So we're going to eat some food, discover a new restaurant and have a beautiful boardwalk kind of night. Anywho's. Let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day today here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Temperatures are in the low 70s and I'm excited to hang out and discover a new restaurant in Disney with you guys. Like I mentioned, a lot of people have been talking a lot about this restaurant, mainly the price because when they first put out the menus, some of the items were a little bit pricey and I think since then they actually changed the menu and changed the prices. So I'm excited to go over everything with you, try a bunch of food. It's been around for a while. They have other locations around the world and uh, it's kind of got a nice uh, name for itself. A lot of people talk and rave about their cake slices and and it's very elegant and fancy and perfect fitting for the boardwalk resort here it is the cake bake shop i'm so excited like i said from the outside it looks so elegant and it's the last restaurant on the boardwalk and then you can just walk right to epcot only about two minutes and you're there right inside the park they have a traditional dining room where they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then they also have like a little bakery where you can just buy the cake slices if you wanna just eat cake. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that are just coming and get some cake. And I think they have some other desserts too, like pies and cookies. Here is a look at the menu for the bakery, and they have so many sweet treats here. So many different types of cakes, too. The slices range from $22.99 to $24.99, and some of them are really interesting. They got carrot cake, pumpkin cake, millionaire cake, raspberry champagne cake, Oprah's Old List mint chocolate chip cake, birthday cake, and even a nice little slice of chocolate cake. Then they've got pies, key lime, chocolate peanut butter mousse, cookies, and it all looks amazing. And uh, we'll probably try some of this later on after uh, we sit down and have dinner. I'll show you more of the dinner menu once we get ourselves a table and get all squared away. But from the looks of it, it looks like it's an American, French, New Orleans kind of cuisine. They have a little bit of everything in there, even jambalaya or gumbo I think I saw on the menu, burgers, and a lot of really cool pastries. So it's going to be uh, a nice uh, video full of lots of good food, hopefully. Here is a look at the menu for the restaurant, and I love the way that they present the menu. It looks so fancy. They have breakfast and brunch from 7 a.m. till 10.30 a.m., and then they have lunch and dinner over here. They've got a whole bunch of soups and salads and a lot of sandwiches, and then they have a nice selection of signature dishes. New Orleans Shrimp Po' Boy for $34.99. Crab cakes are $49.99. A classic burger with fries, $26.99. 99 chicken and andouille gumbo for 23.99 so i would have to say like most of the entrees are in uh, the 20 to 30 dollar price range and then a couple of the entrees are upwards of 50 dollars i'm not too sure what we're gonna get but i do want to get a lot so that i can show you and kind of just taste test it all you know and then they got a lot of really cool drinks here too and some really good tea and coffee I'm going to be meeting up with some friends and we're going to be all dining together. And I'm excited for that because I can show you a lot of the food without having to order multiple things. And uh, I'm excited that the Boardwalk is getting a new restaurant. There's not that many places you can sit down and eat here now. The only one that's open that's accepting reservations is Trattoria. And uh, they even closed uh, Big River Bar and Grill, the little micro, uh, micro brewery that they had here. So uh, adding this is uh, much needed for the resort. It's time for our reservation and look at how beautiful this restaurant is. Look at this. Nice little tables and I love the chairs. Very fancy, very bright. Wow, the whole other room looks like a carousel in there and they already have Christmas trees up. I kind of like that. I know, isn't it so nice in here? Look, you got a Christmas tree. It's so beautiful. Very elegant inside the restaurant itself. And like I said, is that a high chair? That is the fanciest looking high chair I think I've ever seen. 
the main dining room has this beautiful carousel table actually in the center of it and look at how high the ceilings are like it's very nice in here i would love to actually sit in here one day you can dine inside the carousel wow how pretty i wonder if this is a lazy susan it is i love that i think we need a bigger party though there's only four of us this looks like it could sit like eight to ten people the Christmas tree is actually here all year round. They have multiple decorations. And I found out from uh, the server or the cast member that's taking care of us uh, that they change it out seasonally. So uh, depending on when you come here, you might see a different uh, seasonal decoration happening all around the restaurant. And I kind of like it. It looks very fancy, very elegant. What's the gold bucket for? For your Pellegrino. Wow, see? <laughs> I ordered myself some sparkling water because I wanted to feel bubbly blessed and they brought out a gold bucket for it. That's nice. That's kind of cool. Ooh, and I like the outfits too. Did you know on their name tags, it tells you their favorite cake slice? So every single cast member, they have their name tag. It says their name and then their favorite cake slice. Did, you, did any of them say Portillo's? No. <laughs> yeah, that would be you. That would be me. <laughs> To start, I ended up getting the chicken velvet soup. Look at the presentation here. Comes with a nice little baguette. And uh, I also got a cup of coffee to go with my gold San Pellegrino. And I'm excited. I like the way that they have, oh, look at it. It's a double-handed soup cup. So maybe you could just pick it up and like sip out of it. I won't do that though, because we got a fancy spoon here. I'm gonna dive into the chicken velvet soup now. I'm, I'm not even sure if I've ever had soup like this before. It's a little bit on the creamier side, and it's got, I think they said boiled chicken in it. So here we go. I do love me some soup. <laughs> oh wow, that's amazing. It's got so much flavor to it, and it's got a lot of chicken in there too. I can't wait, I'm gonna dive in, I'm gonna try it with the baguette. Just dip it in there. Just give it a little dip. I definitely would definitely come back and get this soup again. And it's so easy to eat. <laughs> is that a gold martini glass too? Yo! Kristen got the black swan like espresso martini and it comes... It's a, a fancy gold glass. I like to hollow out the bread sometimes and make myself a little bread bowl. So that's what I'm gonna do. Take a little of this chicken velvet soup, put it in there. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. Make yourself a homemade bread bowl with a fresh baguette. Ryan ended up getting the soup of the day and it was a potato leek soup. Was it pretty good? It was great. It was, yeah. it was, it was not what I expected, but it was really, really good. It was really, really good. The bread was the best part though. I know you, I yeah you agree yeah I didn't do the the bread bowl thingy but I still butter's great Marie the baguettes <laughs> and then Maria got uh, some gumbo fries kind of oh gumbo poutine was it good so good not too spicy perfect and they even gave you a spoon to get the gravy of it oh and it's the perfect amount of light cheese without being overboard. Uh, and Jimmy sausage chopped finely, like a chopped salad. I mean, this is worth the twenty-five dollars, and I, I didn't believe I would say that. And that's, that's my kind of salad. That's, that's your kind of salad. salad. Yeah, I don't know, they're all getting soup, and I'm like, give me the, give me the biggest thing you got. Kristen got soup too. I got, she the got soupy. The French onion soup. I love a good French onion. French onion hey. is the best soup. My soup's gone. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I was gonna lick the cup. <laughs> if there's one thing about Nate, Nate and Sean, I think this is why they're such good friends. They love soup. I love like, soup. Nate and Sean, it'll be the middle of August, it'll be 105 degrees outside with a heat end index of Lord knows what. They're gonna order soup. That's oh, yeah. They're gonna order soup. And now that they have a soup of the day here, I'm gonna call them all the time. That's the other thing. Nate, Nate calls all the local <laughs> restaurants and asks them their soup of the day daily. Yep. <laughs> yes. And I'm not kidding. That's not a joke. I do love soup, and I was actually going to get the gumbo as my main entree, but instead I think I'm going to get a soup cup version of the gumbo and then try the burger, because the burger looks pretty good, and I need to know what the gumbo tastes like. I just love soup. 
we decided to get one of the crab cakes to share. On the menu, they have an entree with two crab cakes for $50. So this one crab cake, it's probably $25. I don't even know. I didn't even look at the price. But if you wanted to get the entree, it cost you $50. $26.99. Oh my God. So that's you're saving money by getting two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you actually are saving money if you get two. What a bargain. I don't like crab cakes like that, but I might be willing to try a sliver. A sliver of a crab cake. It puts the lemon on the crab cake. I like a lot of the lemon on my seafood there. So that is I'm grabbing some of this crab cake. Just a tad bit of crab cake there. It's probably five dollars. Why well, I don't hate it. It started tasting fine, but then I'm like, wait a second. It's not I don't think I like it. I just don't like crab. You don't like crab? Okay. <laughs> And here is the main event. I got the gumbo burger combination. Like I said, I just needed to know what the gumbo tasted like. You can get the larger version of it as your main entree, but I'm okay with just a little cup. And then the burger looks very nice. I like the bun itself. The fries look good. Honestly, I'm excited to dive in. All right, let's get to this gumbo business real quick. It looks so good. Lots of rice in there. Honestly, I d I've had some pretty good gumbo like when I went out to New Orleans and uh, the uh, creator of this restaurant is from New Orleans and this is her uh, like family recipe so we're gonna give it a go. With the gumbo they give you a little hot sauce to add to it too. I'm not even sure if I want to do this but I'm gonna just do a little drop. Beep! <laughs> just a little drop. And they also give you, not like a whole baguette, they give you just a little bread teeny. I don't even know what they're called that. A crostini? A bread teeny. <laughs> I was close. But I do like this gumbo. It is very flavorful. Lots of rice to it. Usually I'm just I like used to a little single scoop of rice, but plenty of meat in there. And uh, I would get it again. I still think the chicken velvet soup was way better. Now we're gonna dive into the burger. I got it without the mayonnaise, and it has onions on the bottom there. Kind of little fanciness on a little buttered bun. So here we go. That's a pretty good burger right there. Thank you. We did end up ordering a lot of food. Look at that croque monsieur. Fancy. And a little po' boy over there. Thank you. Why does that look so good? The burger is fantastic, and I'm glad it's not a smash burger. I'm not a big fan of the smash burgers. I like a good beefy burger, and the french fries have a kind of softness to them, and they're seasoned very well. Overall, everything is pretty good. It's pretty nice, but um, I got to see what the cake is all about. Like I said, I love this gumbo, but that chicken velvet soup was so amazing. I'm definitely coming back to try that. I'm happy it's not the soup of the day. I think that chicken velvet soup is here just every day. But this gumbo, like I said, is still pretty good. And the burger, the burger was a success. That's all I got left. Just one bite. Maria ended up getting the, what is it, the chicken salad croissant? Yes. And it's a chicken salad sandwich on a croissant? Yes, heads up, it's just going to be good old chicken salad. You know what you're getting, so you know it's going to be good and dependable, but it's not anything that I would write home about and go, oh my god, we got to go get the chicken salad. I'll yeah. take the gumbo I have with the poutine. Yes, this, you could get it at any grocery store, and it would still be probably a very similar experience. You know what I was just thinking about? I can kind of make my own gumbo poutine, because I got some oh. gumbo here. And then I got some french fries right there. Oh. Look at that. That's how you do it. <laughs> you make it fancy. Oh, and then Kristen, she got the cronk. Cronk monsieur. <laughs> The croque monsieur. Oh. Monsieur. Even I'm saying it wrong, but the cronk was, was wild. <laughs> the croque monsieur. It and, looks very nice. And the shrimp po' boy. I heard a lot of good things about this. So. I heard they bring that bread in from uh, New Orleans. I know. I saw that on the menu. Yeah. An iconic bakery there. It looks good, though. It basically is like I'm having two, uh, well, I'm having like an appetizer now. Because just add a little gumbo. I am missing the cheese curds, though. But uh, here we go. I probably wouldn't have gotten the cheese curds. That's good. 
All right, enough of the gumbo and burger business. I decided to get one of the cake slices, and it's cool that you can order the cake slices in the restaurant. They'll bring it on a nice little fancy plate, and I got the uh, millionaire cake right here. And look at how amazing. They got some glitter on it, and it's a combination of different flavors, and uh, it's a pretty decent-sized cake. The only, I wish it was standing upwards, because I like to, like kind of like see it when it's standing up and the layers actually all going down but uh i think we're gonna dive in well look at the caramel on the side there the cake size like i said is pretty it's pretty decent size and i think i'm gonna start at the top because it's got that caramel on the top there i don't know why i'm holding the plate like this as i cut i wanted to show you guys look at that Woo. oh cuts nice gotta make sure you get some of the ice oh the chocolate has like a little layer to it. It adds like a little like special texture. So here we go. If you've ever had those Swiss rolls, it kind of reminds me of like an outside of a Swiss roll right here with the hard chocolate and then this little uh, like nougat part there. I love this cake, it's pretty good, but I feel like I should have gotten the raspberry champagne one. I just wanted to get this one because I think this is like their signature one, or the mint one that Oprah talks about. I definitely don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all of this cake, and probably everyone else is gonna get cake slices, so I might wanna try some of theirs. Community cake slice here, guys. <laughs> We're all trying the cake slices now. Honestly, I love this cake, but Maria got a confetti cake. Look at how pretty that is. It looks so nice. They have the, uh, You're double caking it, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, you are. By the way, I've been eating Nate's behind the camera. This <laughs> yeah, <it is>. Honestly, <laughs> so, the best I mean, way to try like cake is try multiple cakes. Yes, oh my goodness. So, no, so far it's actually really light. I thought it was going to be heavy, and they're very lightweight. So yeah. You could probably eat a whole one of these. If you're a Maria cake person. Publix cake all the way. I know, I love cake. <laughs> Between the cake the gumbo, the chicken velvet soup, and my burger. Honestly, I liked everything here. It was very delicious, and it was like really cozy just sitting in here. Now the restaurant's emptied, and you can see the lights a little bit better, especially because it's getting darker out. And look at this. Look at how fancy it is in here. I love all of these little wreaths and like I said, it's only going to get better uh, as we get to Christmas season because these are little pumpkins on there. Little tiny pumpkins. Alright, so here at the Cake Bake Shop we have uh, Roulet, our, our very magical dragon who works in the bakery. Oh. Um, being a dragon is very hard to celebrate uh, birthdays who keeps lighting the candle and tries to blow it out. But we did task him with an amazing job. He lights all these chandeliers every morning for us, all 14 of them. Um, and as he's doing that, he, uh, he drops a little bit of the glitter. Uh, we're able to collect that. You know, he loves it, but we, we take that and celebrate birthdays, any, any special occasions. Wow. All right, yeah. So if we would like to do a glitter wish, we have a couple options. I can put it in your hands. Um, you can make a wish that way. We can clap it out or blow it. Uh, I can put it in your hair. Whatever you guys prefer. Let's put it in our hands. Right? Yeah, can we put it in his hair, though? I would like it in my hair. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> a, little bit, a little bit does go a long way, so... Oh. And it is all edible. Is it's not oh, it's gonna. Edible. I'm eating it right now. <laughs> oh yes! Ooh, it's in his hair. It's all in his. Thick oh boy! <laughs> Wait, we gotta say a wish. Blow it away. Okay, everybody, everybody, wish. You're yeah. You're good. You're good. All right. Okay, yes, every so wish. Three. All right. One, two, two three. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I wish for hair. <laughs> Another really cool thing to add to the list of things I like about this restaurant is the fact that they have a full service bar available and I'm sure that these bar seats will be on a first come first serve basis eventually and it's kind of a cool spot to stop in before you're going to Epcot or if you just want to take a break from Epcot come on over hang out grab a self grab yourself a cocktail and maybe a cake slice in this elegant little bar look at the bar stools too I don't know why I'm so fascinated with chairs and high chairs in this restaurant, but everything just looks fancy and elegant. 
Well, I had an amazing dining experience here at the Cake Bake Shop, and I definitely will come back again. My favorite things were probably the chicken velvet soup. I just, I've never had anything like that before, and it's gonna be probably one of my favorite soups on Disney property. And I'm excited to come back and check out what the soup of the day is. I don't know if they're actually gonna be doing a soup of the day or they're just gonna have a running soup like every single day of the week for a couple months at a period, like time. Um, uh, but uh, I know a lot of people, you know, were talking about the prices and uh, they, like I said, went down a lot from the original menu they published, but I don't think the prices are that bad right now. They're very comparable to most of the other restaurants with this kind of similar setting uh, on Walt Disney World property, except for the cake slices and the crab cakes. I feel like those are just a little too expensive, but honestly, I don't know how much Gideon's would charge for a cake slice if they were on the boardwalk right next to Epcot you know what I mean and I would consider their cake slices like almost the same size as Gideon's cake slices so if you ever had Gideon's like that's what you'd be looking forward to but I talked to the owner uh, the person who created the restaurant and she is so passionate and she puts in so much detail and thought just through the whole restaurant she designed the inside the interior she uh, came up with all the recipes for the menu and even the cakes uh, slices those are like her little babies and uh, she uh, like I said you could tell she cares a lot and she puts in a lot of effort into the cake slices themselves so uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think now I think we'll just go walk around the boardwalk a little bit take in the sights and the sounds I love this resort look at how beautiful the outside of the restaurant is at night they've got little sparkly lights on top of the sign there it's just a cozy spot too and it's really cool that it's located like completely at the end of the boardwalk i think the boardwalk ends right here and uh then it goes into epcot but i love just hanging out here look at that beautiful view the dance hall over there, jelly rolls, the iconic boardwalk sign there. This is why this is probably one of my favorite resorts. The resort, like I said, is probably one of my favorite Disney resorts, and it's probably due to all of the activities that you can do here. I think they have a magician, like, performing magic tricks right on the boardwalk behind us and that's like so cool and i've seen like professional jump ropers and then you've got like i said the dance hall jelly rolls now add the cake bake shop uh and like i said it's it's kind of i think it's a cooler place than disney springs honestly because a lot of people always ask like what's something fun to do in the parks that you don't need a park ticket and i always recommend coming to the boardwalk because it's just a really really nice atmosphere and you can even play games and try to win like a stuffed animal oh i kind of want to go play the lobster game you have to like hit the lobster into the bucket i wonder if it's still open this is what i was talking about before there was a magician out here now there's oh my lord she's tossing those hula hoops on her wow the boardwalk's so magical thank you Oh, here it is, the lobster game. I love all of these boardwalk games, but this one is my favorite. They give you a bunch of little rubber lobsters and you stick it on here and then smack it and try to land the lobster in the pot and then you win a prize. They've got penguins, they've got snails, seahorses and penguins. Isn't that such a cool carnival game? We gotta play, we gotta play. I got tokens for everybody. There you go, that's how we do it. You take this little lobster, you put them right here. We got 25 lobsters. How are you? I'm gonna go for a test run. I got it on the first try! This is test one. Oh, wait, what? No, no, no! I got it on the first try! I can't believe I missed that! Yeah! I can't believe it! Alright, so we got one prize here. Oh, look at the flying lobsters. Go ahead, honey, you wanna try? Yeah, here, we'll put it right here. You can slap it in there and then hit it. <laughs> I, I got it, I got a bunch of lobsters. Is that okay? Yeah, you can take my shot. <laughs> you got this. Oh, almost. Almost. Wow, Ryan. Kristen, you're the master at this. Not anymore. You could do this. I can't believe I got 25 lobsters here. Oh, come on! 
on, it was right there. Kristen, I need more. We need to get a large prize. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna get it. Get it. Kristen, I thought you were good at this. <laughs> we need one more for our medium. I believe in you. Oh, all right, here we go. Last shot. Last, Last shot. shot. Here we go. Done. Oh well. Well, we got one in. The very first one. <laughs> <laughs> the very first one. Do we get anything for one? Oh, we get a small. Oh. I don't know which oh, one you want. The test one. Oh, it wasn't the test one. <laughs> well, whatever, whatever one I get, give it to her. You have my winner. <laughs> give it to her. She can have it. <laughs> I do have to say, I'm very, very excited to come back and try the breakfast here. The breakfast menu kind of made me more excited than the dinner menu. I mean, I enjoyed the dinner, but just grimming, like just going through the menu and seeing all the cool breakfast entrees and things that they have, maybe I'll come back tomorrow or the next day. I think it's officially open, open now, but I don't think you can get reservations on the My Disney Experience app yet. I think it's just like a little soft opening for people that are here at the resort or guests that are like kind of trickling over from Epcot. Uh, but soon they'll probably uh, add it to the reservation link and I bet you it's gonna be hard to get. I love walking around the boardwalk. Look, they're about to do Movie Under the Stars. I wonder what they're uh, playing tonight. Kind of looks like Moana. I think it's Moana. I think I'm looking at it from the wrong side too. I think we want to watch it on this side. Oh yeah, look at that. I could just say, oh, it is Moana. I could watch movie under the stars all night here. <laughs> this is a call from the ancestors. That's just the preview for Moana 2. Oh, 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 look at this girl. Oh, I just got back from the cake bake. Yes, it was so good. And with that, I think we are done here today. I wanted to go over to Epcot, but we didn't have enough time. We got there, like I said, it was a soft opening, and it was set to open at 4 p.m., and uh, Kristen, she got there first, and she put our name on the list, and it took us about, I'd say, an hour to get sat, because they were kind of doing it in waves. They weren't filling up the restaurant, which I thought was a great idea, because if you fill up the restaurant, you know, during a soft opening, it can get a little chaotic. The service was amazing. Every Everybody there, all of the cast members uh, were so polite, so friendly, and on top of things. Food came out super fast. And like I said, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the taste of a lot of the food items. And uh, the only, you know, discrepancy I would have to say is uh, the prices for the cakes and uh, the crab cakes. I guess I could just say cakes because the crabs are crab cakes, you know? Uh, but overall, like I said, let me know what you guys think. Would you be willing to try the cake bake shop? And uh, if you do, what kind of cake do you want to get? Because like I said, they have a good selection of them. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. I feel bad. I didn't get Gracie anything. You want, a, you want a cookie? I didn't get Gracie anything, but at least I have some cookies in my cookie jar. You want a cookie? What? Oh. Huh? Ready? Where'd that cookie go? <laughs> Where'd it go? What? What? Did you get it? She's like, I can't get the cookie, Dad. I can't get the cookie. It's over here. Oh! <laughs> Yo! All right, all is well in the world. Gracie got a snack.